Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday new show. From 9Bs to E10s, it's a packed week of sends. Does that rhyme? It rhymes. Did You're you so see that? happy it rhymes. I, I'm very happy. You know what's even more impressive is mid-sentence, I realised that rhymed and just tweaked it. That's I what thought I do. you rehearsed it. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. In the rehearsal mid-sentence. Oh, yeah. right. oh, yes. Right, right. Yeah, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Uh, so let's talk about that 9B, shall we? <laughs> Loic Zanani has made the first ascent of a 9B called Chick Lane in Avignon, as reported by 8A.nu. In an interview on the website, he describes the 30 metre route and the bouldery sequences up to 8A plus that are part of it. It took him 15 sessions over a two month period to tick the climb. 9B first ascent, I always reckon a pretty impressive. Um, and Loic, this is a stat for you, ready for this? According mm -hmm. to AA, he's done 42 routes from 9A to 9B, 22 of those are first ascents, so he's no stranger to it. Oh, right, he likes uh, he likes that first ascent. I guess he, he can give the name and, well, a hard grade, so not confirmed yet. Yes, but, uh, <laughs> did you just describe just... a flash to me there? <laughs> Did you have no idea where right, you were going point. with that sentence? <laughs> no, I was like, I was trying to think about Loic. Uh, yes, he does a lot of outdoor climbing. Yes, he does indeed. <laughs> what I wanted to say about the stats is that uh, thanks to climbers like Loic, everybody's laughing around me, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks to climbers like Loic, uh, we have all of this information on 8a.nu. So exactly. please, climbers, log your climbs and not just, you know, write them on a piece of paper. I don't use it, I'll be honest. I don't, you do, don't you? You used to, you used to. No, I've never used that. I but use UKC. UKC, but not AA. But you're an AA logger. Yes, mm. it's fun. It's like that little sense of achievement on a Monday morning. I need that. While procrastinating. <laughs> yes. I'm moving on to uh, 9A plus news uh, from Nolwenn Berthier. French climber Nolwenn Berthier climbed Super Cracky Net. This is her first 9A plus, since apparently she decided to skip the grade of 9A. In 2021, she spent six months trying this technical and powerful route. However, she needed an extra gear to send it. And this year, she came back with some serious fitness. So if you were going to skip a grade, why pick Super Krakenet to do it? Is it just that good? It's a super route. Yes, it is. Since Adam Andre flashed it back in 2018, first sent by Alex Megas, Julia Chanerni, another woman who climbed it, it does have a lot of story. And from the videos and pictures, it does look amazing, doesn't it? Like yeah. that limestone, perfect head wall with just minimal holds. Yeah. It Why does not look. skip 9A to do such an awesome 9A plus? Yeah, and we will be chatting about grade skipping later on in the show. But for now, I've had enough of sport. Let's move on to some bouldering news. Will Bosi has been climbing in the Czech Republic. He seems to have basically ticked the area, with his team releasing his tick list, which includes multiple 8C boulders, 8B plus flashes and a 9A route. We covered some of this last week, but one of his most impressive sends was a flash of Charizard. Let's hear more from Will about that boulder. Flashing Charizard 8B plus was absolutely amazing for me. It's my first 8B plus boulder flash and yeah, I think I couldn't really have picked a better one. It's super my style, really steep, really crimpy, but like in cut edges, so what I like the most. And yeah, it just went amazingly. So before that, I'd actually gone to climb a different boulder, a different crag, and broke one of the crux holds on it, which was kind of frustrating. I thought I might have like ruined the day as a lot of other stuff was wet, but then Adam suggested that we go to this crag, got there and got on the main line, which is an ATA plus, got up the face, was able to flash that, really happy, and then Adam hadn't actually done Charizard, so he that's what he had come up and wanted to try. So I watched him working on it and making like working out all the beta, getting a good sequence, and then after that I got on it for the flash and somehow made it through. It was amazing. Is this the most impressive tick list out of any climbing trip? It might well be. Look, some stats for you. Over 19 boulders above 8A+, plus, uh, six 8C boulders, and a first repeat of that 9A sport route that was established by Mr. Adam Ondra himself. And Will is climbing with Adam Ondra, or he was anyway, and doing stuff together. So are we maybe looking out for a future collab? 
or a 9C first ascent that they're very, they're keeping very quiet. Will and Adam are the dream team, I reckon. Has Stefano Gasolfi been shoved out of the Adam Andre dream team and replaced by Will Bosi? No, because he lives in the UK and they live in Europe. That's a good point, yes. So. Go Brexit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Uh, well, there might have been um, an incentive, you know, for Will to send so many things in such a packed amount of time. True. Because he doesn't have that much time in Europe. Anyway. I'm so done with this bouldering news. Um, let's move on to the Verdun Gorge for a multi-pitch ascent. Swiss climber Katerin Chong repeated La Rami Roll, the 8B multi-pitch in the Verdun Gorge. With sustained climbing up to 8B, she was able to send this five-pitch route in a day, clean with no falls. She was belayed by her partner Jim, who also almost sent the route, unfortunately falling on the 8B pitch. In her words, it wasn't a piece of cake. Each pitch was a long battle of endurance. So it's super hard multi-pitch. Give me an idea of some grades going on during that. Well, first of all, it starts in that sector of the Verdun Gorge where uh, Cebuana has all those like possible 9C projects. Just, you know, to put you in that mindset mm -hmm. of, of where it is and what type of rock there is. But it starts off with like, an 8A plus, and then there's an 8A, 8B, another an 8A, and then it finishes with a 6C plus, which must be the best pitch of the route. I, well, having heard Did, a bit about Verdon Great, I reckon the 6C is probably the hardest pitch of the route. It's just like, yep. no, no bolts, <laughs> just run out, polished. When yep. they're like, it's easy, you'll be fine. But after those grades, it's a cool down, you know? It's, it's one way to like take it all in, to just finish yes. it with something easier. Yes, easier, yeah, maybe, easier. maybe. Uh, no, good, impressive tick list. Right, I mentioned E10s, let's cover that news. Franco Cookson has added a direct finish to Steve McClure's Greatness Wall, which was E10 7A. This was reported by UKC. Franco's variant adds a new section of around 8B in difficulty. He's called it the Sandman and again the grade of E10 7A. He doesn't think this new variant actually adds anything to the overall difficulty of the original climb. Franco's also put up an extension to the uber-famous The Meltdown, a 9A on Slate in North Wales. This new variant comes in after the hardest part of The Meltdown. It's part of a multi-pitch project that Franco has in mind, which sounds terrifying. How can Franco climb something harder, but of the same grade? Well, this is more of a sort of an alternative finish, let's say. So. It doesn't change the grade because Franco doesn't think it's that much harder. And he also reckons if you're tall and good, it doesn't add too much to it. So different climb, same grade as the original, just a, a different finish, basically. So you need to be tall and good. Or you need to be Franco. And Franco is very special. He's been underground for a long time. He does a lot of scary routes that most people would consider a solo, <laughs> him right. too, often. The Meltdown is interesting because that was his first 9A. And a lot of people kind of have a go at Franco sometimes because he hasn't climbed a lot of established routes. He puts his own up. So people mm -hmm. are like, is he actually that good? And the meltdown just shut those people up because right. he can climb 9A. He's super techy. He's super good. Uh, and one of my favorite climbers. Nice. One of my favorite bits of the show is the 9A roundup. But this week we stepped it up to the 9A plus roundup. US climber Joe Kinder made the first ascent of Mama Yama a 9A plus. It took him 20 to 30 days over the past two years to complete this project. 16-year-old Victor Guillermin announced on Instagram that he made a third repeat of Jerome Pouvreau's Saki Dananda, a 9A plus in Oregon, France. Alex Magus, after the Boulder World Cup in Meringen, went back to his roots, sending the hardest routes in Margalef, Spain. This week, climbing Chris Sharma's Sanfaina, a 9A. However, Jorge Diaz Rulo upgraded it to 9A plus, and Alex agrees with his upgrade. Speaking about Margalef, we have a climbing daily video soon from uh, from that crag, right? Yeah, we do. Exact same crag with Tom Bolger. Uh, he's trying a sort of a 9A plus, I think it was, with a 9B extension. So yeah, if you're interested in that area, do keep an eye on Climbing Daily and subscribe while you're at it. You might as well, and you won't miss any of our videos. Now, we were sent news about an eight-year-old crushing in South Korea. We were sent information about Kwon Gyeon, who's climbed her first 8B. She's been climbing since six and her dad sent us this story on Instagram. He's a coach and 514 climber himself. We just wanted to sort of mention this because we haven't really collaborate, collaborated, Collab collaborated. We haven't verified it. That's the mm. one. Uh, we haven't verified this story yet. It, this was something we were sent on Instagram, but very interesting. And obviously so young to send that grade. 
Yeah, uh, in that messenger was also like the this. Like he just described why she did an 8B instead, and she skipped like an 8A or an 8A plus because obviously at that age kids are way shorter, so he had to pick a route that was within <laughs> a reach to do the moves. Yeah, yeah, but well, you've got to think That's, about, haven't you? Yeah. Right, let's go on to the 9B counter. <laughs> So we actually have a 9B. Loic gets on. Uh, Loic Zanani with Chick Kane uh, 9B. Nice one. He's on it. Yeah, and then Nolwen with two points for that 9A plus. The North Face, the brand at the moment. It seems like all the cool kids are wearing North Face and Arcteryx, of course. But uh, North Face is back. Well, new stuff in the Epic TV shop. Yes, we have everything from hats to backpacks, puffy jackets. Uh, there is a good selection of women and men clothing on the Epic TV shop. So check it out. Right, content time. And do you remember uh, the World Less Travel series? Yes. That brilliant thing, Josh and Charlotte. They're out there climbing all over the world, experiencing new things. There's a new video dropping um, from them about China. Check out this teaser. Always love a world less traveled video, although it does make me a little bit jealous. I know that whole theory in South America is just like, oh, I want to go to Peru's, yep. touch llamas. That's why you want to go to Peru. The llama touching. I mean, the llamas and the alpacas in those videos were. Don't they spit if you try to touch them? <laughs> so? I, I remember, yeah, definitely they're like <laughs> one of them. Oh. Yeah. But it's just their faces are so. Look, try okay. a touch. Try a touch. Just make sure you're filming at the time. Okay. Yep. Yes. Uh, we need to talk about talking points because Nolwyn, mm -hmm. skipping 9A, right, to go to 9A+. Yes. Plus. When did this become a thing? I, I remember when I started trad climbing, because that was my first climbing, was trad climbing. My mates were like, you start with a V diff, you go up through the grades, and you do not progress until you've ticked off one at every level. Yeah. Is this just a trad thing? Is it an old-fashioned thing? What, what is it? So you're wondering why they can skip grades nowadays? Yeah, it was kind of frowned upon when I started climbing. Skipping grades? Yeah, it was like you have to sort of do your apprenticeship. You know, you yeah. have to get the grade, consolidate the grade and move on. But I think I had an old fashioned group of friends who were telling me this because with new Jimmy stuff, people are just skipping. Climbs. Yeah, I've heard I've heard of that, of like that way of learning, I guess, the grades and the climbs. And personally, maybe I have that outlook as well. Mm -hmm. But when you're clearly physically stronger, why not skip a grade? Why not have that bigger ambition? Just go for that, that one goal, higher grades. Do you think it is an indoor thing? Do you think as, as cause you know, we don't, like there are kids now, just generally people who can sort of crank 8A boulder, let's say indoors, they've never even touched outdoor rock. Do you think when they go outdoors, they just want to continue that indoor form? Well, yeah, I mean, why should you step it down if you can clearly pull harder? I think Stefano back in the day also skipped a like a whole number of grade and just like went to 8A yeah. since he was climbing so hard already in the gym. Um, so yes, maybe it's a new approach. However, if you're stronger, yeah, I think you should just go for it. Have you ever skipped a grade? Matt, come on. What's your biggest grade skip? I think in bouldering. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm, but then again, like clearly I wasn't bothered. I never went bouldering in that phase when I was like, so what did you do? When 6C had... to 7A, missing 6C no, plus? No, I think it was 6A to 7A. No, really? Something like what that. What was it? Hang on, that's not true. I did once it, no, that's not, you're right, that's, that's not true. That's just straight not true. That's a lie to T. You're just jealous because you didn't. I was jealous. I was you genuinely didn't. jealous. I was like, how I, many grades? I did, it was something like I did 1 6C and then I did the 7A. Yeah. 
It yeah. was certainly a step up, wasn't it? But it's I didn't but again, I don't feel I skipped grades. I just didn't do them. Well like for I, you I think it was the case that you could easily do it. You just didn't yeah. know you could, you know? Yeah. Did I want to? Well maybe was it's I that forced as well. into I forced, it? Yes, I forced you into it. But you were so clearly ready to do that grade. And I suppose it's the same for someone like Nolwyn, which yeah, but is then, I can do nine A plus, I don't need to do nine A. Yeah, but then did I waste my time going bouldering instead of going sport climbing Never. where I actually could have gotten in some grades? That's a ridiculous thing to say. That's the most controversial thing you've said all day, frankly. Mm. But yeah, uh, no, no, but with Nolwen, it was interesting uh, to see her progress and her training. Uh, she like posted videos on Instagram. We even like posted, reposted a couple of hers because like her training was like got so specific and like, yeah. yeah. Well, nice one, Nolan. Yes. Um, coming of the week, we've been sent one and it's uh, a bit of a classic. This is from Ticho, uh, Ticho? Yeah, Ticho Canter Kramers. Whoa. Roll it. Comment of the week. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you so much for that. Do send your comment of the weeks to climb at epictv.com. They usually get featured because not that many people are sending them in. So even if you're musically untalented, it doesn't really matter at this point. So keep them coming. Have you got a comment? Uh, I think we picked the same one from the white boys did you pick that too yeah so the white boys, boys said thanks for sharing uh, is it Mari Mari Mari's ascent it was such good effort and I must say nice to be able to hang out the chains for once to witness the action rather than having to be in it ha 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 oh that's Pete how sweet yeah cheers Pete I tell you the reason I picked that comment of the week is because it gives me a little bit of a, a tingle when I see that I'm like ooh you know like they're watching people are watching you forget sometimes that people watch us I forget Right. Uh, oh, wait, there's a comment underneath. It's from Chao Sen Jin. Yes. It was not such a good effort. It was good effort. Duh. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Like like in caps. Right. Because uh, he didn't write it in caps. Right. But yes, caps or no caps, it was probably the most impressive ascent of the year. And I know we're just in April, but flash ascent of the year. Yep. But I'm tapping too much. She's, she's, <laughs> you're just like tapping on the table. Yeah, it really is. It could be the first ascent of the year. Watch this space. Right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will be back next week. <laughs>